guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sorry, I guess I bored him. <laughs> Before I jump in, um, we're entering Leo season today, but Cancer, I want to just say I hope you had a wonderful birthday season, a good solar return, and may your next trip around the sun bring you only good things. Um, so anyway, welcome cross watchers. And if you're brand new to the channel, hello, happy you landed here. Say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Um, I'm going to pull from soul helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what your message is today. Card 33. I love the magic of that. It says, listen to the eternal song of your soul, tune into it and learn to trust it. So there's, um, right, there's an energy, vibrational, trying to come through. Um, it's eternal. It's sort of like, you know, that's why she's on the harp. If you pull that string, the vibration is very long-lived, and it feels like that's the message here. Um, tune into it and learn to trust it. And um, for example... <clears throat> The song of my soul has always been energy. And I don't mean like my verve, you know. I, I've been able to read a room. I've been able to know almost pretty much instantly who I am and am not safe with, you know, emotionally. It's the song of my soul has always been energy. And I had to learn. It took me a long time to learn to trust it. You know, so if that helps you understand what it is that, I, that that message is trying to say, and it is card 33, which is a master number, a sacred number that doesn't get reduced. And threes are, um, you know, normally about like that third energy that comes in to teach us something. So um, a lot of themes around education and learning. Third house themes, communication. Okay, so your soul is trying to communicate something to you. And uh, what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. I will use the clarifiers for the details um, where I feel it's needed. Let's get the overall energy, Eight of Pentacles. Right, um, there's something that you're working through. Need, you need, need your focused attention, effort, energy. Um, the top row is your person. The middle row is your energy. The bottom row here is the connection, right? Okay, and we have um, past, present, future. So we're getting it all in one fell swoop. So I'm looking at your person and you in the past. We have the king and the queen of swords. A nice match in terms like intellectually, the way, you know, maybe your perspectives, your worldviews, all things around um, communication. As I just said, um, you know, the swords are air energy, even though you're a water sign, that's okay. Um, it's coming through as you're a real good intellectual like your 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 communication your perspectives all a really good match and it feels like here's our past column the beginning of something quite beautiful i'm feeling very connected feeling like you were dealing with somebody who is a person of honor and integrity someone you could look up to and admire and they could trust your ability to reason through things and to be a sounding board, really nice connection. Where are things right now? Well, we have devil energy here for them, the ace of wands for you, and in the connection, this nine of swords. So there's definitely a little bit, uh, something feels like it's unnerving. Um, Devil energy is not coming through in a nefarious way at this moment, though I'll definitely look at it with the clarifiers. It's coming through as like some kind of a fear response. Uh, maybe this person is feeling closer as they feel closer to you or they feel the relationship growing stronger. Their response is to over control um, because they, you know, fear. 
you're all about taking the gift from spirit, a divine gift of inspired passion and running with it. And they're not. They may be pulling back. They may be showing you some measure of, you know, rules, structures, limitations. It can be rigid. Um, and so between the two of you, there's probably a lot of shared miserable energy right now of anxiety, of worry, of sleepless nights. Theirs is coming from fear and yours is coming from them. Um, now in the near future, five of pentacles for this person, you've got the world card really beautiful for you. And there it is. Whew, right? Reunion, reconciliation, second chances, forgiveness, redemption, answering the call. There will be an opportunity for you to revisit anything that might be a little wobbly right now. And I love your optimism here because the world card is Saturn. Saturn is the great teacher and the Lord of Karma. Well, we're looking at the karma right here. So it feels like you have this outlook of closing out a difficult cycle, being open to a new cycle beginning, taking the lessons that have been learned and moving forward on the path. That's great. So you seem to be the one that may be spearheading and navigating the path forward. Your person may get a little lost along the way. Um, their fears may come from some insecurities that are built in and have nothing to do with you. That may be what you need to work through. This is someone who may not feel they have enough to offer you. That is also true from somebody who comes from high integrity and honor, right? So I think I'm talking to those of you who are dealing with somebody who's maybe a little bit of a mystery right now. King of swords can kind of be that way. Um, you know, not real, not real warm and fuzzy, a little bit aloof and distant, but I feel like it's a good relationship. I just feel like this person is starting to kind of go off the rails a little bit. Um, based on something that's an internal process that has nothing to do with you. Uh, it does look like it gets salvaged in the end and that you are a let bygones be bygones, let's close that out and move on kind of a person. And that will be very helpful. Now, remember, if you're here as a cross watcher for a Cancerian, this could still be your energy. And this could be the Cancerian. So always remember when you're watching tarot, in most cases, unless your reader tells you otherwise, energies can come through reversed. We're doing general readings here, not personal readings, private readings. So you have to kind of take it as it resonates for you always. All right, let's see what we've got in this Eight of Pentacles. Sorry for my screaming cat. He struggles to share me. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Um, anyway, yeah, look, this is a connection that's meant to be there, but it has to be chosen of each of your free will. And there may be something that's coming to light with regard to this person, the depth of their feelings. And this King of Cups, being that it's coming from the bottom of the deck, may actually be the clue to this response. I'm not seeing the devil as anything nefarious. I'm seeing as, as an energetic shadow response. Oh, that cat. King of Cups often struggles. This is Scorpio energy often struggles because the feelings are deep. Um, they often struggle to communicate those feelings, as does the King of Swords. So you have both of those elements, and I feel like if you see that and go, oh, that makes perfect sense. Well, now I know what we need to work through, right? So again, it looks optimistic to me, but not without a little needed, um, a little effort required. So what I wanna do is look at the devil to the five of pentacles here. Because what I think happened is they put their best face forward when you first met, right? Fear, resistance, <laughs> emotional overwhelm. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Because they know who you are to them. The divine feminine. They know the power of this connection. They knew the minute they met you. They knew the minute you were such a good match. 
And now they're going, they're spiraling. They're spiraling. Oh my God, right? They don't know that they have enough to offer you. Okay, you're gonna hear a big crash in a minute because the cat is determined to knock the picture off the wall. It's okay, it doesn't have glass. <laughs> it's not a game we play, but he's determined. <laughs> okay, so do you see what I'm trying to say? If the, if the devil is egoic fear and resistance, the seven of wands drives that point home. Like, oh, hell no, I'm not gonna let you, it's, it's self-protection, it's defensive. The seven of cups is all the emotions all over the place. And what's underlying that in, internally for this person is your beautiful, powerful energy. Whew. I'm gonna get an extra card for the five of pentacles just so we understand it. Right, see, nine of swords. The oh my God, oh my God, oh my God continues. Now, whenever we see the seven of cups and the nine of swords close together, um, and it feels because I'm clarifying these two pretty much together, there are elements of like situational anxiety and depression. Not, I'm not here to diagnose anybody it's not a clinical reference it's just to let you know there are highs and lows um and it's kind of being like like they're being triggered okay things from their past that you know have nothing to do with you okay but it does definitely feel like this person is meeting you and finding you as somebody very powerful in their life like oh my gosh this could be it this could be the one and then what that does to them uh, mentally, emotionally, is it sort of restructures them at the level of DNA, and now they got to scramble to feel like they can measure up. That is what I'm seeing. Oh my goodness. So for you, let's go, let's look at the Queen of Swords to the Ace of Wands. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. And I also want to get a card on the world, a card on the world card. Okay, so smart, smart, hanged man. Um, Queen of Cups, look at her looking right at the Queen of Swords. Basically sort of like you come into connection with this person and now you're realizing, oh, I, I got to soften my edges here. This is Cancerian energy, by the way. Got to soften my edges a bit. Um, and, you know, this is uh, the star card. It is about um, hope, faith, trust. There's an energy of things are being taken care of, and I just have to put my trust in that and, and trust that there will be wish fulfillment. Be content in this energy of how I'm being guided. And then we have the Ace of Wands right now, which is like, Yes, this feels like this is exactly where I'm supposed to be, who I'm supposed to be with. It's everything I ever dreamt of. Here it is right here and now. The wish is here being granted. I'm ready to run. And then it's like it all comes to a screeching halt because this person sort of has a reaction, is triggered. And that sends both of you into some form of worry, anxiety, a little bit of preoccupation with the situation. And so in the near future, as your person, oh my God, <laughs> he has one of my knee socks. <laughs> Enjoy the kitten stylings of Sun King Leo. That's <laughs> Though he's a Gemini, I swear to God. Okay, so five of pentacles with the nine of swords. Go take that upstairs. Oh my God, right? So this is, this is where your person will be in the future. Really a little bit freaked out. Um, lots of insecurity within themselves. Not sure what they have to offer. All the doubt, all the worry really kind of freaked out and guess what you do you say that's okay 
That's okay. I'm just going to hang out here. There's an energy to this combination where you're going to come upon the realization that your response will make or break it. And so you're going to just kind of hang there for a moment, accept it as a temporary pause, a temporary standstill. As one cycle closes out, so the new cycle can begin. And it it's really sort of part of their growth process, and I think you'll be able to observe it as such. Um, especially if you're like, nope, things were going pretty well, and then we went into blah. And I do feel the hanged man is sort of a supportive energy. It's Neptune, so that's the great spirit. Lots of spiritual wisdom, the world card, Saturn and Neptune communicating there, telling you just let it ride. Meaning, you know, how sometimes you're in the game and you, and you know you got a good hand, you know you're dealing with a good hand, and you just go like, okay, I'm going to let everybody else freak out and I'm just going to let it ride and not be impulsive. That's what I see here. So that when this person finally realizes, okay, I am worthy of all of this and I'm freaking out for nothing. And I have the most incredible person here who really cares about me, who's been nothing but sensitive and warm and compassionate and loving and caring. And what am I doing? I'm about to blow a really good thing. Just as they come to that realization, that is them answering the call. And that is you coming down off the post and saying, all right, new cycle begins. So this is almost like the press pause in between the cycles. Okay, so that's your energy. Now let's look at the connection. Somewhere here, not, we, we went sort of a little bit sideways. I'm gonna do the four of wands to the nine of swords in the connection. Somewhere we went sideways, you think? Little, okay, okay. So maybe there's been, if there haven't been, I'm saying communication because I'm looking at the swords, the king and the queen of swords, communicators, right? As swords energy is almost always about, you know, communication is in the picture somewhere. And there may have been some communication about commitment, you know, um, how do you see it? Like, do you want marriage, the future? You know, the, the Hierophant is all about the vows we make and take in life. And so if the topic came up, and of course you have to see the Four of Wands there as the wedding ceremony, that's exactly what it is. Um, and the, the Hierophant as pro, presiding over it, and it just feels like there may have been either some direct communication or maybe even some indirect association with the nature of this connection and its future trajectory. And I think it just freaked this person out. Um, and it, it, may, it may even freak you out to their response to it. Um, underneath the, the Knight of Cups is sort of almost as if this person's vulnerability, um, they, they didn't want to let it show. This is a card that would normally be an offer from the heart, something that kind of leaves nothing hidden. And it feels like because it's coming from the bottom of the deck, it might have been hidden. And that's when this person goes into that, nope, not going to let you see anything, not going to let you control this, I'm defending, I'm resistant. And both of you then in this headspace of what the hell just happened? So now let's look at the Nine of Swords to Judgment, how it resolves. Wow, double hit of the Judgment card. So we do get beyond it. We do move to some calmer waters here. You know how we do it? Um, I feel between the two of you, there's like maybe like a, a reestablishment of some boundaries. The four of pentacles can be, you know, being stingy with one's whatever, with one's energy, whatever. 
but in this case it feels like they this person might have felt too exposed um and and this is just sort of a, a kind of like a pulling something back in maybe you both do that four of pentacles might not be a bad idea um, and all that means is to kind of like reset the balance where you pull back in it sort of helps you decompress a little bit it gives you the space because you're still holding on to what you value holding on look at him you got all the pentacles in his grip holding on to what you value you're still holding on to what you value um, but it allows you to kind of move to past the turbulence to some calmer water, to get out of this frenetic state um, and clear the path for some reconciliation or coming back together or finding the peace. Okay. Um, and then we have, again, judgment is about answering the call, uh, whether it's, you know, you know, the archangel is guiding this to some form of a resolution to say you don't have to lose it all, in other words. There are second chances offered here um, if you want it. It's available to you. I'm going to pull an extra card for the judgment card. Right. So, um, there. Okay. Okay. Part of the problem is that we're dealing with, like, if this person is very worried that they don't have enough to offer you or all their insecurities are, you know, rising up, rearing, the, you know, their ugly heads, then there's a lot of potential fear around um, painful endings. So... In the midst of all of this, if there's been, if there is right now something that feels very final, I'm here to tell you that it's not. That's why you get the world and the hanged man. It's sort of a temporary standstill. What feels very final and permanent is not. You've got this king of pentacles that shows up. You've got this manifestation of second chances of forgiveness of redemption for whoever this is that sort of starts out with all this honor and integrity and you know um, somebody that you really admire you look up to them they look up to you there's been a really good rapport and then all of a sudden things start to swirl around the drain just as you're feeling inspired to take things to the next level this person goes in the opposite direction and it feels like it's getting away from you in the relationship. So there may be some sort of need to mend some energy that feels like you took 10 swords to the back. You didn't see it coming. King of Pentacles enters. King of Pentacles, dependable. A masculine archetype of a life partner, somebody you can count on that shows up, that is together, um, who actually sort of um, does value themselves and sees themselves as worthy. So it's almost like there's a, a, a redo on something that feels like all their insecurities rose up a little bit um, unnecessarily so. So... Uh, the, mer the, the magician is Mercury, and Mercury is right now in his pre-retrograde shadow. So he turns around, I believe, on August 5th, 5th or 6th. And um, so everything that's happening right now in the, in the run-up to that, it, it builds tension. And it's everything that once he goes backwards, we're going to be pulled back through. Um, so this is important time. This is an important time. These things are very important. I almost get the feeling what I'm seeing is the retrograde period, August 5th for the, uh, through the end of August being very important to this connection. A time when this person gets to sort of revisit all these insecurities, revisit their response, revisit their, 
um, you know, catastrophizing and over dramatizing the situation and then getting back on solid ground. If that helps. Um, I don't always see this in a timing sort of a way, but because we're dealing with that mercury energy right now, it does feel pretty um, relevant. So that's what I have for you for this part of the reading. So I'm going to take it to the extended. Let's, let's look at our, you know, our king here, our king of swords, king of pentacles person in greater detail, king of cups. Let's see, um, you know, what are their feelings about you? What are they processing right now behind the scenes that we can't see? Um, what are their intentions at this moment? So that's what we're going to do. There are links below. You're going to see numbers one, two, and three. Those are all different ways to access extendeds. I recommend click on it, look at it, make sure you understand what you're signing on for. And um, so that's what we're going to do. And um, before I give you the astrology, if the readings are helpful, if they're confirmational, if they give you some insight, if they answer a question, if you like my style or my crazy cat, please subscribe below. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Like, let's help build this thing. I'm just hitting 62,000 subscribers, but it took me five years. It shouldn't be taking me this long. Let's do this. Let's do it. Thank you very much for being here, but come on, subscribe. Uh, that helps me get put in front of other viewers um, who have, are unfamiliar with my work and I'm here to serve. So that is my request. Okay, here we go. We have Gemini in the lover's card. King of Cups is Scorpio. King of Swords is Aquarian energy. The devil is Capricorn. Uh, beautiful energy of the divine feminine is Venus, Taurus, and Libra. We have the Queen of Swords as Libra. The Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. Uh, the star is more Aquarius. We have the world is Aquarius and Capricorn. That's Saturn. We have the um, hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Our Hierophant is Taurus. King of, I mean, Knight of Cups is Pisces. Judgment is here twice. That's Pluto, which rules um, Scorpio. King of Pentacles is Mortaurus. And as I said, the Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. And I just did the big, you know, part two of the Capricorn full moon. And even though the moon has moved on pretty quickly, it's not too late to watch that reading. And I'm seeing some energies here in this reading that feel like it's associated with that lunation. So if you missed it, not too late to watch it. Thanks for joining me. I'm heading to the extended now. I will see you there in a second. Bye.